You looking at some that they got it out the mud, baby. Got it out the mud, baby. We some mud babies. Mud babies. was and in youtube let's get right into this so if you guys don't know by now i'm trying to go live every day around eight o'clock so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button tap that notification bell so you'll be notified when i go live and the reason why i bring that up is because i was live the other night right and somebody you know we had some stockton residents up on there we was talking about stockton and how back in the day you know all the drama and the red on red the north daniels versus north daniels and all that right not really going into detail, you feel me? Because we don't do that. But just give, talking a little bit about the history of Stacton. And that gave me the idea of this video because we had some other people in the chat that were asking like, hey bro, how come Stockton is like that? How come Stockton homies beef so hard with other Stockton homies? This individual was in the chat saying, you guys have a reputation for doing things like that. And it's true. It's most definitely is true to keep it a hundred. We was taught to set trip. Like, you know what I'm saying? We from, I'm from the set tripping side. You know what I'm saying? Like, I grew up on the side of town where we set trip. Like, for real. Like, for real, for real. Like, the hood came first and everything else came second. That's just the way it was. Don't get mad at me. Get mad at my older homies. <laughs> now, that's just real, my nigga. Like, we was taught to not like anybody else. We was taught to, like, nigga, fuck the other side, nigga. And these is niggas from nigga the red team. Like, we was taught not to fuck with them niggas. It was either the hood or nothing. Like, if you ain't from the hood, it's fuck you and your hood, wherever you from. We was taught to set trip. Why it's like that, I don't know. Like, my side of town growing up, we beefed with everybody. We didn't get along with nobody growing up. Like, you feel me? Like I said, I'm from the set tripping side. And if you from Stockton, if you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? And, like, to keep it real, no one got North Bay tattoos or... We had got bird tattoos or any X4 tattoos, XIV tattoos. Nobody from the hood got any of that shit. I mean, you could have, I guess, if you wanted to, but now I'm going to keep it real. If you did get any of those tattoos, the homies were probably going to clown you. Like, look at this old super North Day ass nigga over here. You know what I'm saying? This nigga a super North Day, you know what I'm saying? This nigga want to be a big homie one day. <laughs> Like, if you got a Red Guy Bird or a North Day tattoo before you got the hood tatted on you, most likely the homies was going to clown you for it. And that's just the way we was brought up, bro. We was bred that way. We was taught not to like East Side niggas, South Side niggas, San Vista, like, you feel me? We was taught not to like niggas from the other side of town. Didn't give a fuck if they was homies or not. You know, a lot of my older homies were in the feds, you feel me? So, like... You know, in the early, 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 early 2000s, they caught a big fed case, you feel me? And them niggas wasn't around when we was out running the streets. You know, we had some older homies that was out. You know, probably some lame older homies now that I look back at it. Then we had, we had a couple righteous older homies that was out there, a handful. You know, there was even some dropout homies out there. You know what I'm saying? We don't like to talk about none of that shit, but you feel me? There was out there, we didn't even know. But nigga, we was kids. Nigga, we was turned up, 14, 15, 16 years old. Nigga, not giving a fuck. What, bitch, fuck you, it's the hood. Nigga, it's the mob, nigga. Nigga wasn't not trying to hear none of that, nigga. Oh, unity, carnalismo, brother, nah, nah, brother, brother, nah, bitch, fuck you. None of that, nigga. Like, we actually, like, keep it real, we actually looked down upon homies that were hide behind the red rag. That's what we would say. Like, all oh, them niggas over there hiding behind the red rag. Them niggas over there striking homies up. Them niggas bitches. You feel me? That's the, I don't, I don't think like that now. You know what I'm saying? Got educated all the bullshit, wasn't that? But... Nigga before? Nigga what? That's just the way niggas talk. That was the mentality out here of these niggas in Stockton. That's a Stockton nigga mentality. At least in my section, on my side of town. You try to come up to what? A nigga and talking about anything that got to do with anything, they gonna pull a pistol out on you. Be like, bitch, I'm from whoop de whoop Nigga, what's in it, nigga? Fuck you talking about, bitch? <laughs> you feel me? Like, niggas wasn't going for any of that. They dealing with the consequences when they cross that road. You know what I'm saying? And it's a fucked up way of, um, you know, it's not right. Like I said, I don't agree with that mindset no more, but that's just the way, that's the mindset of some of these, a lot of these Stockton niggas. We set trip, man. Used to, I mean, take used to, we gonna edit that out. We used to set trip, not no more. Don't strike me up, bitch. Like, I grew up in the era where nigga Stockton was the murder capital of California, right behind Oakland, for years. I mean, it still get active in the city, but, like, you feel me? And it was mostly... North Daniels going out at it with other North Daniels. 
You feel me? So it's like, nigga, that's the era, the time that I got brought up in. But times have changed, bro. Times has for sure changed. That's why this whole thing got brought up because we was talking about the festivals and shit they do now in the city. Lowrider shows, hella people be there, hella homies. What? Back in the day, my nigga, it was not like that. You was not having all these festivals and lowrider car shows and all the shit. And hella homies be there from all sides of town? Hell no. Nah. That shit is liable to get aired the fuck out, like, instantly. Nigga, you got homies from Stockton and all it from different locations in the same area all at once? Ten years ago, nigga, that shit was not happening. It was not. And it's beautiful to see now, though. That's why we was bringing it up. Like, that shit is really dope, bro. You can go to a car show and be homies from... Maybe you didn't like before. But shit, you feel me? Shit's changed. My nigga, shit's changed for the better. That kind of least most shit is real. You feel me? That kind of least most shit is real, my nigga. It most definitely is different from what it used to be. And like I said, it's for the better, man. It's for the better. It's more peaceful as far as... um, Like, you just weren't able... These type of things you just wasn't able to do in the city because it was going to go up. It was most definitely was going to go up at a certain period of time. And I'm just glad to see it, man. I'm glad to see it. I know a lot of other people are glad to see it. And of course, some do still have their issues and we're not going to put any of that on the, on the, you feel me, on the web or internet, YouTube, whatever the fuck. And to keep it real, I think it got brought up because of a video that BFD dropped. They was asking about that video or, I cut them off because, like I said, we don't talk too much about too much. You, know, you feel me? We try to stay, say less. But uh, then that whole Stockton shit got brought up. That's how we got into this story. The, oh, the video Transparency. That, that's what it's called. It just came to my mind. Transparency by BFD. If y'all haven't went to go check that out, highly, 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 highly suggest you go check out Transparency. Transparency. Am I saying that right? You know a nigga got a seventh grade reading level, my nigga. Seventh grade reading level, sixth grade writing level. They ain't never passed English language arts, bitch. <laughs> hey, let me know if this mic is like fucked off or something. Like, is the audio cool? Mic check, mic check. Look at this. <laughs> hey, let me know if the audio sound cool or not. Do I need to tweak some shit up on here? You know what I'm saying? You know I'm new to this, my nigga. I'm not true to this. And I want to react to your guys' music. So send me your music. I don't want to do these street stories like this really all the time. You feel me? I want to react to your guys' music, man. I want to keep it strictly music for now on. I mean, not for now on. Obviously, I'm going to do stories and shit like this and have people on or whatnot. Send me links to your music. you got to have a music video so I can react to it, man. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I'm gone.